Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about smart pointers in C++. So smart pointers, there's three types. We have the unique pointer, the shared pointer, and the weak pointer. So typically, these shared, these um, smart pointers, what they do is they will manage your memory for you. So when we are doing like the new and delete, it'll take care of when to delete your memory. So let's go into uh, example. So include IO stream. And then we need to have this include memory, which will allow us to call some of the smart pointer functions. So let's go ahead and make our animal class that we have been using, but a more simplified one. So we're going to have public, and then we have our constructor, like this, right? And then here, we're going to have a destructor animal and we're just going to have it print out so we know um, when the constructor is actually called okay so we're going to say animal destroyed don't worry no animals harmed in the making okay and then we'll have a function that says void do something and we're going to say std c out and maybe we just hear some snooze sound, Z, 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 okay. Uh, the semicolon should be outside here, okay. And then we're gonna have a private. We'll have nothing here actually, so we'll just leave that blank. So here we have a simple animal class, right? And then we wanna have our main function as usual. Okay, so inside our main function, uh, let's take a look at what it looks like if we have a normal pointer. So if we say animal, and then the star for the pointer, and say normal, normal PTR, for example, and we say new animal. So this, what we have here is creating a pointer to uh, animal and new because it's dynamically allocating memory. We're gonna have our return zero here. Okay, so notice if we create new, we're gonna run this and see what happens. Okay. Let's just print out something to make sure. Let's say done. Okay, just, just so we verify our program finish running. So you notice it says done, right? So here we created a new pointer called animal and then notice that we have a destructor and the destructor was never called. Okay, so this could be dangerous because you're creating memory, new memory, and then it's not being cleaned up. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at what happens when we actually use our smart pointers. So we're gonna start off by looking at the unique pointer. So with unique pointers, what happens is you can only have one uh, pointer for that. And you can't have two pointers pointing to the same thing unless you use the move function. So let's go ahead and see what that means. So we have std unique. It's called unique underscore PTR. That's the keyword. And we're going to make an animal pointer and call it unique PTR. Okay. And we're going to say std make unique and then animal. So if we try running this, notice that it says animal destroyed because what the unique pointer does is when the pointer gets out of scope, in this case, the program ends, it's gonna automatically call the destructor. So that's one of the main difference between the normal pointer and this unique pointer here. So let's say we want to try pointing this to something else, so if we have a uh, unique pointer here, and we're just going to call this unique pointer 2, and maybe we're thinking of making a point to our first one. We're going to see a problem. So we'll let IntelliSense load a little bit, but it should start showing some errors. So we can see here, this says, you know, note declared here, error use of delete function. Okay, so 
it doesn't like this, right? So the proper way of doing this is to use the move. So if you wanted to have something point to it, you could say, we're going to do auto keyword just because it's simpler. And you can say STD move and then say unique pointer. Okay, so this will move the unique pointer to unique pointer two. So if I run this, we shouldn't get an error. And you can see it runs fine. Okay, let me just clear this so we can move up. Okay, let me just run this again. You can see that everything is working. So that's the idea of unique pointers. And then we have what's called a shared pointer. So with shared pointers, it's going to look pretty similar to unique pointer, but now we're going to have the shared pointer syntax called shared PTR. And we're going to say std make shared animal. OK, so this is our shared pointer. So if we run this, let's just comment this stuff out because um, just so we don't lose focus. So if I run this, notice that again, right, the destructor is called for us. But one thing with shared pointers is that unlike unique pointers, shared pointers, you could have more than one pointer point to that pointer. So there's actually a count that's keeping track of how many times it's being uh, used. So here we could have uh, another one. We're just going to duplicate this part. OK, so we have share pointer 2. And then we're just going to point share pointer 2 equals to share pointer. And then if we do a count, uh, share pointer dot use count. And if we say std see out count, we're going to see how many times it's called. So if I run this, let me save the program. OK, so notice that we get two. And then also notice that I didn't point this out before, but notice that done is called before the destructor is called, because the destructor is called at the end of the program. But the main thing I want to show you here is the two, because the use count will figure out that, OK, we're actually, there's actually two times that the shared pointer is being referenced because we created this other uh, shared pointer. So that's where the count two comes from. OK, so that's for shared pointers. And then the last thing I want to talk about is weak pointers. So with weak pointers, it's very similar to shared pointers. Uh, the main difference is that you have to do this thing called lock to access the shared pointer. And you could check if a pointer is expired or not. Okay, And it doesn't really keep track of how many times it's being used. So we could say std shared ptr. And then again, we're going to make an animal shared pointer here. And say std make shared, and then animal. So that's our shared pointer. And we're going to make a weak pointer with std weak. Let me just scroll up a little bit. OK, so we're going to have weak, ptr, and then animal. And we're going to call this weak ptr. And we're going to point that to shared pointer. And then we're going to destroy it by doing the reset. So if we try to do something, so if we say like weak pointer dot uh, lock and then do something, let's see what happens. So it's saying Z, Z, Z. Okay, so here the shared pointer is reset, but because we have weak pointer um, pointing to it, it's fine. And let's say if we say like, if weak pointer dot expired, so if it's not existing, we could say C out expired. Okay, so if I run this, 
it says expired. Okay, so that pretty much summarizes um, the different use cases for smart pointers. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.